how did I start? Okay, how I started is not how I finished. And this is me just talking about the spicy hustle. Before I even talk about the spicy hustle, let me tell y'all how I used to trap, okay? Besides the dancing, like digital trapping, okay? Or digital hustling, I should say. Of course, I had my fan base. I had my website. I sold merch. I had a, a, I just had a dope small VIP group before OF was a thing, before any of these sites were a thing. But I remember looking back one, one year, and I was not keeping track of my finances, anything. I was just living. I had made like a crazy amount of money off of foot stuff. For those of y'all who don't know, I am a foot girl. Yes. Let's just one time for the feet people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I am a foot girl. <laughs> and I had made, man, how much did I make? I want to say it was like 20. I don't know. Okay. These two numbers are popping in. I know they're like completely like far apart, 20 and 50, but I want to say it's maybe 20. I had made $20,000 trapping out of the dms that's like selling foot videos foot pics out of out of my dms and i want to say it's, it's more than 20 but let's just say 20 i had made a ridiculous amount of money out of instagram dms no only fans no fans like no whatever there is now none of that so i had been digital trapping before digital trapping was a thing okay when of came about I was in a transition already. I was just like clocked out, I did, like burnt out. I didn't want to, I didn't know if I actually wanted to commit to something like that. And then at the same time, I'm stubborn as fuck. Like, I'm like, mm, I don't want to fall the wave. I want to make it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I am stubborn like that. I really am. But um, this time around, I started with um, Twitter. Okay, so like when I started all of this and I was like, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to try this out. Um, I did make an OF for my fan, my fee, fee page, for page, uh, or my foot fans. I call them my foot fuckers, so yeah, that's them. So I was like, okay, I Twitter's not really my thing. I've had one for It's Wild B for a while, but I'm going to make a brand new Twitter for my feet people. And I'm going to hire somebody to help me. So I hired a Twitter assistant, right? listen when i started talking to her that like first and foremost there's a whole ecosystem okay on telegram like telegram is crazy when it comes to promotions for your of like th that's a whole another video if y'all want it because i was blown away by the ecosystem on telegram so i found her on telegram she was a twitter assistant uh, for those of you who don't know, Twitter assistants will pretty much do help you with Twitter. They'll either run your Twitter, grow your Twitter, but she also was a OF assistant. So she knew the ins and outs of OF, um, guaranteed gains, um, sexters, the whole business behind it, right? And what some people don't know, I, I guess guy, maybe the guys do know at this point, but the ecosystem in Twitter is like, okay, there will be a huge OF girl, right? Who's making a bunch of money on OF, has a bunch of fans. And then on the other end, she has an assistant that sells shout outs um, to girls who were trying to grow their new pages, like me. So, um, you know, after speaking to my Twitter assistant, we had a whole plan on how we were going to go about this, right? First, we were going to grow my Twitter to a certain amount. And then we were going to um, create the my social or my spicy links which we're doing at the same time then we're going to get x amount of people in there with guaranteed gains and then we're going to add in the sexters okay so that that was the plan okay um did it happen like that hell no it did not it did not um and I, this is kind of why i'm glad i waited to like release all this once like pretty much the whole, not all of it is done but a good chunk of it is done because if I would have been releasing this as, it's a shit show. Anyway, um, I hired her for a week first. I think it was like a hundred something dollars. Um, she had grown my Twitter by like two, two to five hundred people, um, which I thought was pretty dope. Because um, I'd never grown Twitter that fast, or I've just Twitter has just never been my thing really. 
So I told her we'll try a week with her, I'll try a week with her and then if everything goes well I I'll hire her for the her other services. So the week went by great. She was super active, super informative, all that thing and then it came down for me to go ahead and commit to her for a month. So I paid this girl close to $600 for the month. That would have been a uh, increased amount of Twitter drops, guaranteed gains of I think 3,000. Um, she was going to upload all of my content for me and set up my social or my spicy links or my spicy profiles. So that half of that didn't happen. I sent her a hundred pieces of content. I don't think any of it ever got uploaded, maybe three. <laughs> um, she went MIA for like a week and a half. Um, she did set up my social or my spicy link profiles and she did do drops or like my promo for my for my Twitter. I just think she was really overwhelmed. Um, but at the same time, I didn't like how she was communicating. And then when I was like, hey, what's up? The fuck? You know, she her initial response was like, oh, I'm sorry. Um so I know life happens, but I hate when people be like, oh, I'm sorry, then tell me a whole life story about what this is. My life happens too. And respectfully, I don't care what happened to your dog. I paid you for a service that I expect to be done. That's it. So anyway, um, but like I said, I know life happens. I'm like, okay, cool. So how are we going to fix this? Um, so she was like, um, I'll add an extra two weeks of promo for you. So I'm like, cool. It happens again so I'm like this ain't gonna work so she's like oh and, and I tried to contact her for a week this time like yo what's up this time she was not um, forthcoming with any stories explanations whatever so she finally actually what I think happens is there's this ecosystem on on telegram where if someone runs off with your money they'll they have groups that will put them on blast so other people will know don't shop with them. So I put her ass on blast. She finally responds to me. And she was like, oh, why, you didn't have to do that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, girl, like, you didn't do the services that you said you were going to do. And she's like, well, I'm sending proof, blah, blah, blah. So she sent me a bunch of screenshots with no dates or anything. I'm like, girl, this don't mean nothing. <laughs> Like, I need date stamps, something. She was like, well, maybe I could just do an extra two weeks. I'm like, no, because that's what you were doing to rectify it last time. Um, so I was like, that doesn't work. You can give me a partial refund. Blah, blah, blah. She went ghost again. So pretty much, all in all, I got scammed, y'all. I got scammed. I think she was overworked. If I ever did get a Twitter assistant again, because she was growing my Twitter, I'd probably just get her for Twitter. Or not her, but I'd get someone just for Twitter, and I would pay them on a week-by-week -week basis. It's just me. That's how I started off with Twitter, trying to build my fans up and stuff like that. And I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm not fucking with this. I'm not fucking with this, okay? So, I was like, I, I felt a little burnt out over that, or like, irritated. And I'm like, I'm not going to keep up this Twitter shit. Like, I have a fan base. Let me, let me... Let me use my fan base, right? So I decided to switch over to Snapchat. And boy, 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 that's when shit got interesting.